And there is a sense of relief now that at least one suspect has been arrested in connection with the brutal beating of Brian Stowe. But as Jennifer Gould reports, baseball fans are still angry about what they call a senseless crime. Well, could Donald Trump get into the race for president after all? 116 people are confirmed dead in the city of Joplin, and the death toll is expected to rise as the search for survivors continues. Nicole Collins has the latest from this devastated community. Police are asking for the public's help to find the person who dumped a woman's body at a recycling center in Wilm. Former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty has officially announced he is going to run for president. During a speech this morning, the Republican attacked President Obama for what he says are failed policies and for not being as transparent as promised. Actress Jane Seymour says Arnold Schwarzenegger may have had more children out of wedlock. She told CNN that it's common knowledge that the former governor has fathered multiple children. Here's what Seymour had previously said on the KTLA Morning News. You know, I feel really, really, really sorry for that family. I feel particularly sorry for Maria and the kids. And uh, I just think the best thing could be if everyone just tried to leave them alone. Mm. But are we surprised? Not really. Yeah. Seymour says she knew when Schwarzenegger announced the divorce, he was, quote, jumping the gun before the world knew the truth. In health news, Bayer is introducing a reformulated aspirin today that works in half the time of its regular aspirin death. And for the latest health news, click on ktla.com slash health. All right, her hat and what a hat it was. Oh, yeah. It was the talk of the Royal the Wedding. Newsroom with more on this story, Leela. Well, Michael, when Kamala Harris was running for attorney general last year, she made a campaign promise that she would crack down on mortgage fraud. Today, she's making good on that promise. Now, according to Harris, this is the first such strike force in the history of the Department of Justice. She hopes it'll start a trend and encourage other states to fight mortgage fraud as well. In the newsroom, I'm Leela Feinstein. Back to you, Micah. Okay, according Leela, thank to Harris, you. this is the first such strike force in the history of the Justice Department. And she hopes it'll start a trend and set an example for other states to fight mortgage fraud as well. In the newsroom, I'm Leela Feinstein. Back to you.